hi guys welcome back happy monday um hopefully you guys enjoyed that last video um that i did i enjoyed that mystery box um yes i will be doing um a another like get ready with me with that um mystery box um i am wearing <laughs> the lip gloss today um i enjoyed um hopefully i will have that video up on tuesday um, fingers crossed. Um, so hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And yes, we are back with another writer's edition. I know y'all guys have been enjoying those. Um, so hopefully you guys are having a good Monday, um, to start off this week. Um, yes, I will be posting a little bit more. Um, I have been kind of getting into, um, filming a little bit more, <laughs> um, pre-dates. So, um, hopefully this, uh, this new schedule that I have will work out perfectly. Um, so hopefully you guys do enjoy this writer's edition. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, so let's get into the video before I keep rambling on. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And go follow our Instagram and our Facebook. And I do have a Twitter. Um, it is all in the description below. Um, I have been hearing, um, you guys are enjoying those Amazon mystery boxes. Let me tell you, I enjoyed, um, getting those. Um, so hopefully you guys are enjoying those. I will leave, um, that link in the description below, um, for you guys also with that, um, mystery box website. Um, I don't know if there's still any more on his website, but, um, as you're seeing this, um, there may or may not be. Um, I know he comes out with some. Um, quite often so definitely go make you a free account um, I enjoy um, having an account um, on his website because one you get some points and two it kind of helps you um, keep track of you know some daily some daily updates because I know he does do like discounts on different stuff so go make you a free account um, so let's get into this video as you guys keep as I keep saying I keep rambling on so let's get into this video guys and as you guys do know, I do have my book here today. Um, so I thought it would be the greatest thing to, um, I wrote down um, some notes on this gorgeous sheet of paper of mine. Um, when you're bored on family vacation and you're like, oh, I need to write down some, some notes. So um, I do have um, my three questions, as you guys know, if you're new here. I will leave all my Writer's Edition playlists here and um, the newest one here so you guys can definitely go and watch them. Um, I do Writer's Editions normally on Thursdays, on every Thursday. I usually post one, um, but um, times has been a little different, so hopefully I can get back into those. And yes, I do want to start up the Writer's Edition lessons um, for 30 minutes. Let me tell you, I enjoyed making those. Um, even though it was a little stressful, I did enjoy making them for you guys. And yes, they are still available. And yes, if you are um, subscribed, um, I do post at least four times a week. Usually, sometimes it's three. Um, I do have all of our notes and information about all the other writers' editions um, on our Facebook page and all the cute notes and everything. Um, I will have available again as like a writer's package. That'll come very soon. Um, so let's get into um, these questions that I have. Thank goodness I have some notes <laughs> um, here with me today so I can keep on track. Um, I'm going to try to make this um, not as long as possible since it is just a normal writer's edition. So let's get into it. So my first question is, is what is someone you would want in your book? So my first, so the question is, as I will repeat it, um, what is someone you would want in your book? It could be a celebrity. It could be um, a small time actress. It could be someone in a movie. It could be from a video game. Um, it could just be, you know, anyone. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be someone you went to school with. Um, it could be a pet. Um, so let me know your answers. Um, if you, on our last Instagram post, um, I will have um, a, just a normal post for it um, to where I can see your answers. Um, or you can comment on our Facebook status um, as well. So I know I do love hearing back from you guys. Um, and the second question is, is how many people do you have in your book? Do you have like two characters who play multiple different personalities or different um, types of characters? Um, do you have like five characters in your book? Do you have like six? Um, let me know on our Instagram or our Facebook's latest post so I can see. 
And the third question before we get into everything um, is what is something that is very special, like spontaneous, that no one knows about um, about your book and that you would love um, someone to know about? Like, is it, oh, you got to, you know, once you get to this chapter, it gets really crazy or it gets really intense or chapter three um, in my first book is it basically is not off topic of the book but it like goes back to like you know those old time days or um like his family story or anything um that's spontaneous like oh my goodness family drama is the best or I like family drama so if you get to this chapter it's all about uh the family drama and everything that you would kind of read in a fantasy book. <laughs> um, and another thing is, uh, is I have um, a few pages I will read um, throughout the book. Um, the beginning, this is a story point to where you just sit in a room and you just think of what are the first things um, you're going to write about your book. So as you guys do know, I do have my beautiful book here. And I think I've read this page before. Um, I just kind of like went over it. So we're going to turn, um, if you guys do have this book, um, I will leave the page number um, up top. Um, I do say if you do want the book, I, you can get it at your Barnes & Nobles, um, Amazon. I don't know if it is at Walmart or at Walmart. So if you look at your local bookstore, um, I will leave the link to my book um, at the bottom of the in the description below. <laughs> um, so um, as I just keep rambling on, um, I'm going to read uh, this chapter. Um, so this is the beginning of where you're just kind of questioning, okay, I want to start my book. So you're going to, which I do have a whole... Uh, video about the basically the very beginning like the very start um which is called brainstorming to where you're going to just brainstorm you're just going to sit there with a notebook you know no stress no nothing turn some music on or anything like that and you're just going to ramble on like you're just going to sit there and you're going to do like you're not supposed to do like in school or middle school or you know like on an essay to where you're supposed to have like run on sentences and it makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense to the other person. So that's what you're kind of going to do. You're going to make on run-on sentences, or you're going to jot down a bunch of words or, like, a bunch of notes. Um, you're going to keep this journal beside your bedside to where, like, if you're in the middle of the night, like, oh, I want to write that down for my book, or it might make sense to you now, but it might not make sense later. Um, so that's kind of what you're going to do. And you're going to do brainstorming basically through your whole book. There is no limited to stop brainstorming. There is no limited to add or take out or, oh my goodness, I have like a time limit to do this. Um, there's 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 no time to uh, for you to stop brainstorming or anything like that. Um, so we're going to move on and this is going to be uh, the middle. And the middle is where you're in the middle of your book, probably on about, I would say about five or six chapter five or six and you're towards the end of your book and this is when your people or people reading your book will know basically what your book is about so I think chapter five or six is about the middle of okay I know what my book is um this is when people is gonna know like all about your book or what your book is about or probably how it's gonna end but not really um, like mine, I left it off with a bunch of cliffhangers in each at the end of the chapters, um, because you wanted to keep, I wanted people to keep reading, um, like, oh my goodness, well, what happened to this character? I gotta keep reading, or, oh, I, I gotta keep reading this, because I want to know what happens to this character, um, so that's kind of about the point in the middle of, about your book, um, and then we're going to move on to the end, and this is where your book is all done. Um, it's good to go. It has made all your kinks and tricks and everything that you need to know about, um, basically, um, and your book is ready to be, you know, basically on the shelf. Um, and I will put up, um, pictures of where I'm reading at, um, from my notes. I do, uh, put up note cards and stuff 
on my Instagram and Facebook for you guys to read um, so you guys can have. Um, and this is the end um, of the middle. And I did pick out a story <laughs> um, to kind of read a little bit. Not too much to read, but to uh, kind of give you an example. Uh, so I'm going to read from three acts, um, which is the beginning, middle, and end. And this is the story of Cinderella. I'm sure y'all know Cinderella. I mean, there's like, like 500 movies out there. Um, so this is one that's in the book. And this is where Cinderella's wicked stepmom won't let her go to the ball. So right then and there, your character's angry, upset, um, mad. Like, I just want to, you know, like, we all know Cinderella's character is like, you know, okay, you know, I do this all day. I do this for my life. I would like to you know, one year out of a lifetime, you know, let's, let's go to the ball, you know, like, let's, and then in act two, um, and this is kind of like a book point of view, and this is like if you was doing like a play or something of Cinderella, um, so this is where, this is the middle, so you're in the middle of the book or in the middle of an acting, um, situation, um, this is the fairy godmother helps Cinderella get to the, get to the ball in style, where she meets Prince Charming, falls in love, and loses a glass slipper. So now we know, okay, so she got to go to the ball. Um, she, you know, had help from a fairy godmother, um, from her grandmother, okay. Um, she found somebody that she can move on from, you know, what she was living and what she was doing. So we're basically like, okay, we know how her life's gonna go now, like, you know, we're, you know, kind of in the middle of it. And then the ending, which is act three, <laughs> um, is Cinderella is forced back into the life of a servant. Okay. And Prince Charming shows up with the glass slipper and slips it on Cinderella's foot for a perfect fit. They get married and live happily ever after. Okay. So this is, okay, so she had a good night at the ball. Didn't go so well. She loses a glass zipper, has to go back to, you know, like her normal life and, you know, doesn't know how to, you know, tell her, you know, stepmother and her, you know, siblings um, or anyone like, oh my goodness, you know, did this just happen? And so that kind of, you know, puts a little plot twist. Um, I'm not really, <laughs> um, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan of Cinderella, um, but I do. Um, like the normal or like the recent versions of them. Um, so um, I do have another one that I will um, kind of read from. Um, and this one is Star Wars. And I do love Star Wars. So I really wanted to show this one um, before I end my um, ending questions. As you guys do know, I always have ending questions. So um, I will read from the Star Wars. And this is in three acts as well, so um, I'm going to read um, them all, and then uh, I'll tell you what I think of one, two, and three. Um, let me know what you guys think of these stories, too. Give this a big thumbs up, or let me know on my last Instagram post or on our Facebook page where these will be available um, to read and, um, and enjoy. So we're going to start with Star Wars is an epic tale of grand experience. A grand scoop, but it is, but at its heart, it's a coming of age story about a young man looking for adventures and finding himself. Okay, like that's like you know, like going to a bookstore, reading the back of a book cover. Like, okay, you know, this is this is you know, a pretty good, interesting story. Um, so in Act One, when Princess Leia is captured, she sends out a plan for help after his aunt and uncle are murdered. Luke Skywalker answers Leia's call and joins Obi-Wan to rescue the princess and destroys the Death Star. Wow. Okay. And then, and this is Act 2. In the middle, Luke becomes a Jedi Knight under Obi-Wan um, Tutter Lodge. <laughs> I probably said that wrong. Um, together, they enlist the help of Han Solo and Chewbacca to, rec to rescue Princess Leia. So, he kind of got an upgrade in his life. Um, he's like, okay, I'm becoming this person. I want to help this person. I, you know, I want to make sure, you know, I'm doing good. 
And then Act Three is the Rebel Force planned their attack on the dark on the Death Star during during the conflict. Luke must trust the Force in order to destroy the Death Star. Okay, that was a real. I think that is probably one of the um, best little like uh, storylines uh, from Star Wars. I do think that was a very uh, very simple. To the point, um, gave a lot of, uh, there was a few characters in that, um, just that little act, um, you find out a lot about, um, the main character, um, I do like that, um, I will have, uh, sorry, <laughs> um, I will have little, um, clips or, like, pictures of, um, the stories or whatever that I just read from, um, I will also have this on, uh, our Facebook and Instagram for you guys to enjoy. Um, I do like this book and I will show you it again, um, what it is so you guys can definitely, uh, get it. It is the complete, is the complete version, um, novel writings and it is the third edition. I still need to get the rest and you can see a bunch of Arthur's and stuff on the cover. Um, this is what the back looks like. Um, I do recommend this book 10 out of 10. I have done all my research on, basically almost all of my research on this book. Um, this is where I get all my notes. Um, everything that I come up with for these writer's editions is in this book. Um, I just, you know, sit down and I just write or type or anything like that. So I'm going to end this as I'm sure this video is very long. Um, so with my three ending questions, um, who would you have as a narrator um, to read your book to people? So like if your book was on an app or whatever, like on a book app, who would you want to narrate your book? Um, and let me know. Let me know. Because I would love to hear um, what who you would want to read your book. I think that is an awesome question. And then two is, what do you think of blurred lines in a book? Um, blurred lines uh, is, like, what is, like, lines that, like, say you write a book. <laughs> I'll have a definition right here of what that means um, to explain a little bit more. And I'll also have a little bit more in-depth uh, um vocabulary and everything on our Instagram and stuff to kind of go over there. I know that was a trick question, um, but, and the last question is, is what is your main goal for your book write, writing novels? Um, do you just want to accomplish one book? Do you want to accomplish two? Um, do you want your, you know, book novel journey to keep going? Um, so what is your book novel journey? Please let me know on our last Instagram post and on our Facebook. Um, I do love reading you guys' stories. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, that little um, writer's edition. Um, I enjoy making these. Um, let me tell you, it was fun to make this skin. And I will see you guys in our next video. And have a great Monday. Bye. <laughs>